What is up you guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm Tony Fuentes and today we're replicating the effect from a diffusion filter or a black pro mist so we can apply it to photographs and video alike. So we're gonna jump into Photoshop and Premiere Pro to apply this effect. So if you're not familiar with what a diffusion filter is, it's basically a filter that you put on your lens that has some texture, making the light that comes into your sensor being diffracted and acquiring this type of texture where the highlights are a bit more bloomed out. There's a lot of glow to the highlights depending on the grade and the level of the effect on the filter and also you lose a little bit of sharpness and a little bit of contrast. Now a lot of people like these filters to create a certain effect and a very stylized look for some photographs or some video but others don't like it because they reduce a lot of the sharpness and contrast of your lens and you're already buying sharp lenses and basically putting this effect on top of them you're losing a lot of that quality that you bought. So let's jump into Photoshop first to apply it to photographs and then we're going to jump into Premiere Pro to apply it to a video clip. So guys, here I have an example of the effect on this portrait of Danny. Here we can click this layer on and off to see what we've done and just add some glow to the highlights, in this case to the hair and to any part of the image that's highlighted. But also, obviously you can apply it to any part of the image. And this effect, particularly for portraits, when the sunlight is hitting the model directly, it really works to bring out a lot of glowing into the skin and the model will be very happy, particularly the female models. Now the image that we're gonna edit is this one, particularly because I like the contrast for this effect it's very useful to have images with high contrast so in this case we have the windows in the back and for starters what we're going to do is go to select go to color range and here we're going to select highlights down here and select every part of the image that we want to be highlighted and to be applied with this effect if you want the whole image to be affected you can just move the range down but i just want the highlights in this moment i'm going to hit ok then i'm going to copy these highlights with ctrl c and ctrl v paste them on another layer. I'm sure there is a shortcut to do this and um, if you know leave it down below in the comments. Next we're gonna go all the way to filter, to blur, Gaussian blur and now we're gonna apply any amount of blur to make this effect really pop. So as we can see if we apply the effect a lot more everything starts to become a lot more gloomy, a lot more diffused like if you were using a, a diffusion filter. So I'm happy with that I'm gonna select OK and if it's still not enough you can Control J to duplicate the layer several times and basically duplicate the effect or the layer. So that's basically the effect. It really works for landscape shots in the middle of the forest with sun rays over the sun beaming down behind the subject, anything like that. It really works and makes it pop up a lot more. And for misty days, it works wonders, guys. So that's in Photoshop, guys. Now let's jump into Premiere Pro and apply this effect to video. So guys, here in Premiere Pro, I have this clip of Danny already graded in slow motion. So what we want to do is apply the diffusion effect to all the highlights. So what we're going to do, the first step is to duplicate this layer. We can just select it and drag it up while selecting Alt on our keyboard to duplicate it. Then we're going to hide the bottom one. Then we're going to go all the way to effects. And over here, we're going to type in Luma key. Then we're just going to drag it over the clip. And then over in effects controls, here we have the Luma key settings applied. So what we want to do is adjust the cutoff. So everything in the highlight reel is completely selected. So we can move it up or down. I'm just going to move it up until I have everything that I want selected. Then I'm going to go all the way to effects once again. And then I'm going to add a Gaussian blur. Again, we're going to drag it over our clip. Now we can unhide the bottom layer once again. And over in effects controls, we're just going to add some blur to our liking. So as we can see, if we add a little bit more blur, everything starts to be a bit more diffused and the highlights in general. Now remember to not overdo it guys, just do it to a way that it seems aesthetic and not too overdone. So something around there is a bit exaggerated. You can always adjust the cutoff so more parts of your image are also blurred out. And also you can just turn the opacity down just a bit if the effect is a bit too much for you guys. So that's the diffusion effect for Premiere Pro and Photoshop guys. You can apply this effect for both video and your photographs. So it's a quite nice effect to have. And you're basically faking the effect from a Black Pro Mist filter. Other than that guys, just a reminder, you can support me in many manners. You can just like the video, share it with your friends and comment down below. And also you can buy my presets, which are linked down below if you're interested. Other than that, you can join my membership where I give away presets every single month. But Further than that, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, can you please give a like? It really makes a difference and consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload the next video. I hope you're doing well. Don't forget to smile. I'm Tony Fuentes, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers to all of you.